Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, my channel, the boys' channel, I don't know. Um, so today I'm going to actually be switching out one of our litter boxes. As you can see, we have two different kinds and I'm going to switch it out and I thought I'd show you what kind of litter we use and what system we use because we actually use uh, pellets. So we've tried all kinds of litter before. We've tried clumping litter from multiple brands like Tidy Cats, Dr. Elsie, which we actually really like Dr. Elsie. Um, but the thing is, Sven pees right at the edge of the uh, litter box. And so the clump sticks to like the plastic and it gets all really grimy and yeah, it stains and scratches and it just, it's it gets really gross and we have to like switch out the litter boxes and replace it and that gets kind of expensive and you know it's a waste to be switching litter boxes like a few times a year so we also tried crystal litter and I think that is disgusting I don't know I was never a fan of it we tried um what's that brand I don't know what brand it was you can find it at Target and stuff so we've tried crystal litter too and it's just, I'm not a big fan. It gets really gross, I feel. Because when they pee, the crystals turn yellow and you can see it. And you're not supposed to change it uh, every day. You're supposed to just leave it there and it's going to keep absorbing urine for like a month. And I don't know, it just starts smelling weird. And I don't know. I just feel like this is much better. It smells like the forest. You can't smell the pee. Of course, you can smell the poop. But with all cat litters, you can smell the poop. And we, I really wanted to try um, tofu kitty litter. I think that's really interesting. But I think for now this works. So we gave clumping litter another try. We, If you go back to our previous videos for the cat show, we bought Lucy Pet's clumping litter. And we gave it another shot because we wanted to purchase the, what do you call that? Uh, the automatic litter box, the kitty robot, litter robot. Yeah, and I don't know. I thought it was such a cool concept that it just cleans for you and you just empty the bin like twice a week or something. Um, but yeah, with the clumping litter, even with Lucy Pets, like same thing. Spend peas in the corner, the plastic gets all moist and wet, stained. It's just gross, the clump breaks. It's just, I don't like it. So we're switching this huge litter bin to this litter bin for easier scooping because we scoop twice a day to keep everything smelling nice and fresh in the house and so the first part is like a huge colander and basically when the pellet gets wet it breaks into sawdust and so what we do is we'll lift up and just kind of scoop around and then the dust will fall into a secondary bin and actually this is really nice because you have two so if you want to like rotate and clean it out that's fine um, but we never had a problem I think what we're gonna do is actually like line it so we can just grab the bag and toss it away quicker than like trying to empty it out into like a trash bag um, so yeah so I'm gonna switch and tell you more about this pellet deal excuse that mess over there we're still working on our place some area still needs to be painted and all that so how this bin was originally advertised for was you sift your clumping litter and then you get your clumps and you toss it and then basically you put it back to the second bin and pour your litter back in so that's why they gave you two different bins but we're not going to use it for that purpose so I'm going to clean out any poo. Oh, here's a great example of what I do. Okay, so here's some dust. So basically just scoop it and you see the small pieces. It's kind of annoying because, you know, it really falls between the cracks because our uh, scoop has a really big, big uh, opening. So what we do is you see you just kind of sift and it falls and of course that gets really annoying after a while and then you just put it back really annoying right so 
so this one is much easier and that's why we're switching see there's a lot of powder right here I don't know if the camera will pick that up but there's a lot of powder so what I do is I'll lift it up I just push the sawdust down into the second bin okay and then you see bam you get all the dust down there. Oh, you can't see it. You get all the dust. So I'm just going to leave that in there for until tomorrow. And bam! So what I'm going to use is um, from Tractor Supply Company and it's made for horses. So it's used for horse bedding and let's see, I think small animal bedding. And <clears throat> they're actually just pellets like this. See if you can see that. So what happens is when it gets wet, it turns into sawdust and it crumbles and then you can just sift it out with a sifter, colander or whatever. And with poops, you know, this doesn't stick to the poop. So you just scoop the poop, put it in the trash, in the doggy bag, whatever. Um, and this is really cheap. It's about five to six dollars. Um, for 40 pounds so it saves you quite a bit of money and I think it smells nice it smells like pine because it's made from pine um, but just makes your house kind of smell like a forest I mean it's like a really light scent and sorry I spilled a bunch of pine on the floor um, it's a light scent it smells woodsy and you don't really smell the urine um, of course you do smell the poop but I feel like with all litters, you do smell a lot of the poo. So, yeah. for now, this works out. We actually like this method the best way, and it's the cheapest way. And I feel like it's um, more earth friendly, I guess. I don't know what happens to clay clumps. At least this is like wood, it'll decay. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and click the subscribe somewhere down there and we'll see you in the next video.